Hi guys, so today I'll be discussing three pathological chest x-ray images uh, and respective signs which will help you to diagnose them in your questions or in clinics. So let's start. So first of all, this is a normal chest x-ray. All right. So you can see the normal costophrenic. Okay, here. Normal cardiophrenic and straight media stanum. Okay, I don't have to talk further about it. Let's move on. Okay, so the first image is you can't see the costophrenic, you can't see the cardiophrenic. All right, it's like all white. All right, but you can see the bronchioles here, so it means there is presence of lung here. At least the lung is here, and here it's all normal. You can see the costophrenic angle. Okay. So what is this suggestive of? When you can't see the costophrenic or cardiophrenic, I am writing CP for both of them. When you can't see them, this is called meniscus sign. Okay. And when in the x-ray it is meniscus sign positive, it is highly suggestive of pleural effusion. I guess all of you know what pleural effusion is and what it means. Okay, so meniscus sign. Okay, so one sign. All right. So in this image, can you find something else? Uh, can you see this curve? All right. Okay, so this curve, this concave curve, this concave curve, which is reaching towards the axillary line or mid axillary line like it is it is called ellis curve and it is defined as when the curve of dullness like in in case of percussion dullness but in x-ray you can see the presence of fluid white or obviously opaqueness when it reaches and has its maximum height at uh, mid axillary line, it is called Ellis curve. It is also suggestive of pleural effusion. All right, two signs done. And what is the significance of Ellis curve? I will show you in uh, one one significance. I'll show you in further pathology. We will be discussing. And one more thing: if this if this demarcation is not so clean like its haziness here in this area and then you get there is clear uh, image and till then its haziness then it is suggestive of if not all right and you can see the haziness here then it will be suggestive of consolidations all right then it will be suggestive of consolidation but here it was clean uh, and you could see a clean curve going towards the axilla which were which is obviously ellis curve then if you can see the ellis curve it's pleural fusion but first of all it is only seen when there is highly accumulated fluid like the fluid volume is much more okay basically meniscus sign is the main catch here meniscus sign whenever you see meniscus sign positive it's pleural effusion okay moving on to next okay obviously meniscus sign is negative here you can see the costophrenic angle so no pleural effusion obviously so what else can you see how black it is as compared to the right lung and all you can see are the ribs no bronchioles nothing moreover there is this margin if you can appreciate this margin what is this margin this margin is actually the margin of lung okay which means in whole of this area there is nothing present air, air is only present not only that air is pushing the lung all right so what happens is person will ventilate obviously and air will leak maybe there are different kind of pneumothorax i am just taking an example air will leak and it will push so more breathing more accumulation all right and in a different case like in uh, accidents all right or, or in trauma there will be opening with the external environment and then air will accumulate like this 
so more the air will accumulate more the lung will collapse and eventually if not managed a time will come the lung will completely collapse like it will be it will become it will be confined to this place only and what what will happen then what is the sign regarding then then what will happen is the media sinus shifts media sinus shift okay so if the media sinus shifts to the right side that means left lung is collapsed all right so make note don't get confused okay so if this lung will be collapsed it will you will see in the x ray the media sternum will shift to the right sides it will shift towards right all right okay so this is a case of oh i haven't written it yet okay so this is a case of pneumo thorax and what was the catch here this blackness nothing seen but only blackness okay kind of translucent or transparent you can say okay okay moving on to our last pathology and the third one okay now the here here what is the catch here this this line is the catch here this horizontal line horizontal line okay but first let's check the let's check the um, costophrenic and cardiophrenic angle okay can't see it means positive meniscus meniscus and i told you positive meniscus is highly suggestive of pleural effusion it means there is presence of fluid here or accumulation of fluid is here all righty okay but now there is no ellis curve as i told you ellis curve was a concave curve uh, upon a, uh, accumulation of fluid but here it's a straight it's not straight like horizontal okay plane horizontal line and also in pneumothorax i told you to check the bronchioles if visible and if there is much blacker than the other lung or it's black and you can only see the ribs and nothing else it is suggestive of pneumothorax all right so let's write that down if black then pneumothorax hmm can both of these ah uh, wait so i don't know what happened so can both of these all right pleural effusion and pneumo thorax persist yes it is a condition called hydro pneumo thorax as the name suggests hydro and pneumo and this is the line where they meet obviously the what uh, the fluid is heavier that's why it's suspended downwards and air is all over there okay and also you can see media channel shift is there a little bit which is suggestive of lung is collapsed all right so what was the catch here the catch here was this horizontal line horizontal line okay so remember guys these signs horizontal line for hydro pneumothorax and this only ribs visible pneumo thorax and positive meniscus for pleural effusion and also this one all right elis elis curve okay thank you guys uh hope to see you soon bye